The team has done remarkable things despite our limited resources. These first products are a validation of our talent, our work processes, the dedication to reimagining the way photonics can be applied. Poet Technologies is in the midst of rapid commercialization with two primary products designed to disrupt the markets they address. They are Poet Infinity and Poet Starlight. Poet Infinity is a first-of-its-kind 400G transmit chiplet that will be deployed in the optical transceiver market. That market is predicted to reach $14.3 billion within three years. What makes Poet Infinity unique is its single chip design that contains all the key elements for an optical engine, the guts of an optical transceiver. Dr. Suresh Venkatesan, Poet's Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, explains. Poet Infinity is unmatched by any other product in the optical transceiver market today. We have succeeded in integrating DMLs, or directly modulated lasers, and drivers within our chip scale solution. We call it Infinity because it can go from 400 gig to 800 gig within the same package, simply by adding another chiplet. You add two of those dual chiplet designs, and now you have a 1.6 terabit per second product, and we go up from there. The second disruptive product that Dr. Venkatesan's team has developed is Poet Starlight. Similarly impressive, it is a light engine for the AI hardware market. With the buzz around AI, it's not a surprise that a frenzy of interest has surrounded hardware solutions. Poet Starlight already has a lead customer that has placed an advanced purchase order. And why wouldn't they? Poet Starlight is available at a cost that other suppliers have not been able to match. Poet Starlight has built-in features that we believe will sustain our advantage now and into the future. It's designed to be the de facto light engine that powers optical data transmission in AI hardware. What everyone in this part of the AI hardware market needs is a low-cost light source, and we have it. When we talk about scale, the demand is going to be absolutely immense. AI solutions require processors, lots of them, and every processor sold will require a light source. Poet Starlight and our other light engines and light sources can meet that demand. Both Poet Infinity and Poet Starlight demonstrate the hallmarks of the Poet Optical Interposer. The company's platform technology is the foundation for all of its products. It's low cost, scalable, and powerful. Poet Infinity and Poet Starlight are only two products. Our legacy line called Poet One includes our first products that will be manufactured this year. We already have a $3 million purchase order from Beijing Fein Yun Yi Technology, or BFYY, and they expect demand for our optical engines to reach $30 million over the next three years. And we have another dozen or so products that we plan to debut in 2023. We are leapfrogging the competition and giving industry leaders a chance to accelerate their own roadmaps. These cutting edge products are built to scale up in volume as photonics applications proliferate. Scale means increasing unit volume, which must at the same time lower cost, size, and power requirements. We engineered a technology that has the capacity to be mass produced at a competitive price and with components that are recognized as best in class. We've done that, and people in several industries have noticed. Which industries? Light will increasingly be used in applications like sensing, automobile LiDAR, virtual reality systems, healthcare monitoring devices, datacom, high-performance computing, and consumer applications that haven't yet been invented. What all dominant applications in these markets need is small size, lower power consumption over existing solutions, and the ability to be produced in massive quantities at low cost. These are the essential features of POET's technology. Its products exist at the intersection of electronics and optics, turning electrons into photons for 10 times faster data transfer at 10 times lower power. What makes POET different is its ability to combine optics and electronics on a single chip, produced at scale using wafer-level processing. Such capabilities allow Dr. Venkatesan and his team to build an important, highly successful company. Key executives include Dr. Mo Jin Yu, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Asia Operations. 
James Lee, Vice President and General Manager in Singapore. Raju Kankipati, Senior Vice President and General Manager of North America Operations. Dan Mirovich, Vice President of Product Engineering. And President and General Manager Vivek Rajgarhia. We have assembled a highly experienced and phenomenal team of engineers who are drawn to the underlying value proposition of POET to change the industry we all care passionately about and leave a legacy of improvement. We define our process as the semiconductorization of photonics. We use the processes that have existed for decades and rather than reinvent them, we apply proven semiconductor techniques to components that produce light to address the production pain points that have frustrated photonic solutions manufacturers for years. We build a better way to package or integrate different components into a single chip to improve network performance. This has been a team effort from our 50 or so engineers in North America and Asia. Poet Technologies is headquartered in Toronto. The company's stock is publicly traded on the NASDAQ exchange under the ticker symbol Poet and on the Toronto Venture Exchange under the symbol PTK. While its corporate activities are fulfilled in Canada's largest city, Poet's engineering work takes place globally. Allentown is a noted photonics hub. It's even part of an area called Photonics Valley. Several of the company's engineers apply their skills to design and develop optical engines based upon the optical interposer platform. That work includes using dye bonders to attach lasers onto the chips and wire bonders to then connect the chips to printed circuit boards. Fiber array units are a key part of the design for Poet's solution that builds next-level data center interconnects. And those light sources that you see here have propelled Poet to the forefront of companies that supply hardware to AI developers. In Singapore, James Lee and his team work on new designs for optical interposer chips, including those dozen or more products Dr. Venkatesan expects to introduce in 2023. The Singapore unit is doing extraordinary work in bringing our Infinity chiplets to the market. Singapore has been an R&D center for us, but is increasingly moving into an operations role as interest in our products grow and our product portfolio expands. We also are founding members of the Shine Center at the National University of Singapore. Work there uncovers novel applications for our optical interposer. Not far from Singapore is Shenzhen, China, where Poet opened a product design and development center in 2021. Dr. Mo Jin Yu's team builds development and design validation of optical engines and applications engineering and development of customer evaluation boards. They support the efforts of the engineers at Superphotonics Jamin, the joint venture formed with San and IC, a global leader in foundry services. Assembly of our products is done at Superphotonics Xiamen, or SPX as we call it. Presently, about 30 engineers work there, which will increase as we scale up. Equipment is in place for the mass production of our first products for customers like Adwa, BFYY, and Luxia Tech plus several others who cannot yet be named because of sensitive non-disclosure agreements. We formed SPX three years ago to demonstrate that we have the manufacturing capability to fulfill customer orders. Sanan IC, our joint venture partner, pays for the equipment and for the operations expenses of SPX. POET provides the know-how to manufacture the optical engines based upon the POET optical interposer while retaining our intellectual property rights. SPX buys the optical interposer chips and wafers from POET for the optical engines and light sources that it manufactures and sells to its end customers. I must also mention that SPX has played a key role in providing the engineering talent and resources necessary to taking the POET optical engines from design to production. With SPX, POET can deliver at scale, and that's essential to engaging with any prospective client in a meaningful way. And that engagement represents the beginning of a lengthy yet exciting journey to a purchase order. POET sales team, led by Raju Kankipati, works with interested customers on the testing of POET products. Once progress is made, a design-in phase takes place where POET's team builds a solution to the specifications of the customer. 
Once that first design and phase is complete, samples are delivered for customer evaluation. What follows is a round of design augmentations and more sampling and testing. Once complete, a commitment is made to purchase POET's product, and the customer begins an industry qualification phase. Then the POET-enabled optical solutions are sold to the end customers in the data center and AI space. In most cases, POET through SBX sells its optical engines directly to the module makers who have existing customer relationships. Currently, these customers are not the largest module companies in the world, but are the more aggressive companies seeking to gain market share and to dominate the industry over the long term. Having moved multiple customers through the purchase journey, POET's next phase is a non-stop production ramp that keeps the team working tirelessly. The first products scheduled to come off the production line are the 100G CWD M4 optical transmit and receive engines that represent a cost savings of 25% to what is currently in the market. Impressive 100G LR4 engines will follow. The 400G and 800G receive engines are next. Then comes the first POET Infinity transmit chips and the light bar solution for AI. POET Starlight is forecast to be in production in 2024. We've entered into markets that are valued in the billions of dollars. When you look at the projected growth for AI and photonics, it's exponential. And POET is well positioned to deliver unprecedented levels of innovation to all the industries we sell into. When I think back, this all began with a PowerPoint of the optical interposer. That was in 2017. A year later, we invented its first iteration. And in the five years since, we've evolved the concept into what will be 12 products introduced in 2023, eight of which we've developed in just the past year. The flexibility and relative ease of design is what makes the Poet Optical Interposer true platform technology. Instead of building a light source or transceiver engine from scratch, we have features built into the Optical Interposer that allow it to adapt to new and sometimes newly invented components. It's the components that make the application, but it's the optical interposer that allows them to work seamlessly together. As we developed the optical interposer, our goal was to put everything on a single chip. We call that chip scale. That allows us to turn the page from an R&D company to an operations company. In 2023, we became a commercial enterprise, one with enormous growth ahead and an exciting story of innovation and disruption that we continue to tell. The vision's always been the same, to build a company that is a global leader in photonics, and we're well on our path. 